I am sure you're wondering why I started with this drink. This is Team Bitter Lemon. And this is not an advert for this drink. I'm not a fan of carbonated drinks. However, if I feel the urge to take such drinks, I would go for this. But I have an issue with this drink and I'm going to be sharing that issue with you after this break. You're welcome. For your question, how is malaria transmitted? Option A, food. Option B, sex. Option C, female and nephilus mosquito. Option D, male lions. Food. Really, nigga? Wow, that's strange. Anyway, malaria, as we all know, is endemic in Nigeria and it's a major health challenge in our country. One of the major challenges in management of malaria is drug resistance. There are many reasons for the development of resistance to anti-malaria medication, but today I'm going to be focusing on the issue of compliance. And the issue of compliance may be in the form of underdosing or not taking the medication for the complete and recommended period of time. Now, this drink contains an active ingredient known as quinine and is said to provide this drink with its bitter taste and flavor and it also provides relief for body aches. But guess what? Quinine is an anti-malaria and it's contained in suboptimal levels in this drink. Quinine is an anti-malaria used in the treatment of resistant malaria and complicated malaria. And even though the development of resistance to this anti-malaria has been slow over the years, but I've been observing resistance in clinical settings and this has been disturbing to me. And then with everybody taking suboptimal doses of quinine in this drink as a form of refreshment, chances of developing resistance to this quinine is very high and also this is not a drink for pregnant women i wouldn't recommend that so that will be all for today let me know your take on this and don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed like share and turn on the notification button thank you